Hello, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to wash your hair if you have 360 waves. So this is a routine that I do that keep my waves looking good and keep them in place and just have me feeling good when my hair just feels itchy and dry. So the material I use, I use a bunch of meditated things. So I use med medicated shampoo and condition because it really helps with my scalp. Sell some blue, sell some blue dangerous shampoo. This is really good. And also I use sulfur A med medicated original formula. They're both anti-dandruff. You can get them both at Walgreens. So I'm going to be showing you how to wash your how to wash your hair. So let me begin. First of all, I'm doing this in my bathroom. First you want to turn on the sink. I need a handful of this. In fact, I want you to do it. Oh. Okay, first you want to wet your hair. Get it all wet and healthy. Get it all wet. Get the shampoo here. You want to laver it. You want to laver it up as much as you can. So how you lather up your hair is like how you brush it. So you take it, you spread it in the front and back, and then the sides. Okay, and while your hair is lathered, is lathered up with the shampoo, let me put this right here, you want to brush it. Because by brushing your hair, when it's you want to brush your hair. The reason why you want to brush your hair when your when it's lathered up is so you can really get the soap in your scalp because when you I think there's a benefit to when you scratch your, when you're scratching your hair when you're washing it, you really get well it helps grow your hair. And yeah. And also just help keep your wave pattern intact looking nice and clean is how also another good way to spread to spread the lavern equally on your head just on the surface area mm-hmm yeah, gotta get that lavern right there and I recently just got a haircut, so this is real. This this kind of help. This is why my waves already look the way they are because I got them cut already. But this is for like when you're wolfing, because one at one point I didn't, I wasn't wearing my uh, my do rag for a couple nights, and my and my hair while and my hair wasn't like. Because someone told me that when you wear your do-rag at night, it keeps your hair compressed and your hair and your hair is growing. So my hair wasn't compressed. It was kind of, they were standing up. But after I did this routine, it helped me, it helped my hair lay down, lay down after I took it off. So after you brush, after you lavend up, brush, you're going to wash your hair. Oh, man, it's really itchy today. Okay, okay, then let them go get a towel. You do want to dry your hair, gonna dry it after you wash it, dry it. Mm 
Okay, dry your hair. And then they you want to apply the soft the softer conditioner. You want to apply the softer conditioner. You want to take about this much. Well, maybe this is too much. But you want a, a good amount of it. Put it in your palm. Take it around. Like this. Then you spread it. How you brush it. You want to get the, the, the front and back first. And then the sides. Okay, that's how you got to spread it. You want to, get, you want to spread it evenly around your hair good. And then you want to brush it in. Mm. Then you want to brush it in. And then my battery storage, not my battery, but my camera storage is low. I'm gonna brush it in. Okay. So once you're at a good place right now, you just put your do right on. Oh, I'm do right over here. You do rag right on tight. I oh, don't no, got it backwards. No, I got it upside down. I'm doing the open. I'm gonna open up the flap right here. This is so when you wake up and until you do where right, you won't have that really that mark from it, the imprint. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got that backwards too. I'm recording at night. I'm trying to see if I can do this all in one take. One take, Jay. And there you go. That's your ideal. Wait. Yeah, that's your ideal routine for washing 360 waves. Thank you. Like and subscribe.